And God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, today we are so glad to be able to take a moment and gather before your word and be gathered up in the peace we need, in, in the truth we're seeking. And Lord, we're thankful for this continual conversation that has existed through your church, that we do come together, and we do talk about things, and we learn from one another, and we learn even from our mistakes. And Lord, we pray that we will have the humility to name our mistakes. Not, not the great grievous sins that the whole world's going to point out about us, but the things that we have done quietly in a hidden fashion to try and shore up our agenda and our way of getting through life. But we've also not considered you and we've not looked to your word. And so we need, Lord, your spirit's guidance to get us back to the truth of your word to the revelation and the right inspiration of what you are saying to us, what you are telling us to do and how we are meant to love one another. And Lord, we pray for those that are presumptuous about their faith, that are so sure of what they believe that they're not listening to what you're saying. Lord, we pray for people that are trying to create their own spiritualities. And yes, Lord, there are those that confess you as Christ. And maybe we don't understand the way they worship and maybe we don't understand what they're doing in faith. But Lord, you are calling to them and you're, you're asking them to discern. And so, Lord, may we be a help to each other. Maybe there's ways to learn and grow and change and develop our faith, Lord, that we haven't discovered yet. Lord, we're still here. We're still believing. We're still coming together. We're still worshiping you. Lord, we want to do so rightly, rightly in, in, in the ultimate way that we will praise you forever. Lord, help us to be present with those who are sick and who are suffering, to be a source of freedom for those who are looking for a way out of the prisons in their life. And Lord, we pray for the strength to, to stand up to the violence in our society and the violent attitudes and the way that we are forced to be divided against each other. Lord, this is, this is the deception of the adversary. This, this is the work of Satan that tells us to be divided against one another and to, to work against one another and that right and wrong is, is our decision and not yours. And so, Lord, keep us mindful of the deceptions that are out there and the way that people will coerce us by fear and by threats. Lord, let us be the source of peace that returns such threats with, 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 with joyful obedience to you even in the midst of those things which would oppress us and persecute us. Lord, let your church stand strong. This in Christ we pray. Amen. And in God's word today, we turn to the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 9. But when diverse were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And... The arguments of the church and the church with the community and the church with the, with the uh, politicians and the church with the bureaucrats, we, we, we act as though the separation of church and state, the distinctions between religion and, pol pol and the political world, is we just don't listen to each other. And that was never meant to be the reality. We are meant to be listening to each other to see that we are standing in diff different points of view as one denomination stands in a different view from another denomination. But that doesn't mean they're not both confessing Christ. And so even as we look to the people in our community and, and the different cultures and religions that are represented there, our goal is, is not to utterly wipe out another's culture but to share the confession of Christ Jesus as Lord and to get our discussions and our debates to have that as our goal, not that I'm going to be right or you're going to be right or, or a particular point of view uh, from a particular group of Christians is going to be right. God is right. And the disputes in whether it's our Bible studies, or the discussions we have in, in, in devotional times, the discussions we have here online or, or through the, 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 the chat section after the, the post. If you want to put up a point of view, this is the school of learning that we are called to that continues away from public school that is part of living school, that is the, 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 the lifestyle school of faith practiced openly out in the community. This is Sunday school at its application. And... I encourage you 
to continue in those discussions, those tough discussions you've had with friends and family. Don't shy away from them, don't run away from them, but continue them, continue till you've come to that point where it's not just agreeing to disagree, but it's agreeing to, to agree with God and to have that fellowship and that shared understanding. It is powerful and it is inspiring and it is encouraging and it's yours, a gift from God in the grace that is faith.